You have several possibilities to connect your Arduino to a network. At home, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth is suitable. But what if there is no wireless router available or your Arduino is out of range? In this case, you can use a wireless network. For example, the 2G mobile network, which has great coverage. Connection is slow, but often perfectly sufficient for Arduino use cases. However, if the only power supply is batteries, the 2G network is not suitable. Sending radio signals would drain the batteries too fast. With batteries, you need a more power efficient method. Nevertheless, the mobile network is a very exciting way to achieve connectivity. How this works in detail is the topic for a separate video. You can find first impressions in my blog post, the link is in the description. LoRa is a promising technology here. You have good coverage, the radio modules consume little power and it's great for battery powered Arduino devices. Anyone can provide LoRaWAN gateways and you can even earn money with it. My name is Mitch Tutenente and in today's video you will learn how you can use the LoRa network for your Arduino devices and even make money with LoRaWAN. Let's start with an example. This is Alice. Alice built a battery powered weather station and wants to put it somewhere. She can't use the mobile network because the modules consume too much power. Alice can use the LoRa network. She looked on the internet to see if there was coverage for the Things Network's LoRaWAN network in the area. And indeed, this is Bob. Bob runs a LoRaWAN router for the Things Network. He has made it available to the community so that anyone can use it for free. Thank you, Bob. Alice registers on the Things Network, sets up her LoRaWAN device, and places the Arduino weather stations where she wants the data to be sent. In the Things Network dashboard or via REST APIs, Alice has access to the data. LoRa stands for long range and is a radio network that is operated in the license-free frequency band. To be able to receive and send data in the LoRa network, you need LoRa modules. The LoRa modules for Arduino are usually tiny, cheap and consume very little power. So little that you can even run an Arduino, sensors and the LoRa module with batteries. LoRaWAN is a protocol in the LoRa network. With LoRaWAN, it is not enough to only have receiver modules. You need gateways, something like routers which receive radio signals. A gateway creates a coverage for more than 10 kilometers. This makes it possible to use worldwide LoRaWAN networks to operate, for example, weather stations somewhere. In the example I mentioned the Things Network. The Things Network is a LoRaWAN network that connects gateway operators and sensors. As a hobby engineer you can use the Things Network for free and also contribute gateways yourself. The Things Network has very good coverage in Germany. We can have a look together how the coverage is in my village. I have put the link in the description. I first open the community page, I scroll down and look for my community. I am living in the rhein region, that's why I enter that region. On the community page I can find some metrics. 41 members, 56 gateways, that's pretty good. Scrolling further down I can find a map. I can investigate the map and look for my location. I am living in Schwetzingen. In the park nearby there is a gateway just 500 meters away. If you look a little bit around you will see that the coverage is really good in this region. In the north there are a lot of gateways and also in the other areas of this region. If you want to use LoRa or LoRaWAN for your Arduino devices you need at least a transmitter module. This is a LoRaWAN capable module. You can connect to a LoRaWAN network and send data. You can find the link of it in the description. I put together a little running thing. The whole thing runs on three batteries. You can turn it on and off with the switch. Here is the LoRaWAN module. This is a temperature and humidity sensor. This is the Arduino Nano. I can now turn it on. The connection to the Things Network is already programmed. We will soon see the data in the dashboard. I will share the exact circuit and coding for this in another video. Follow me to get the notification. To see the data in the Things Network I open the console. I select my region, open my applications, I already maintained my application, I open that, I open my devices, this is the Arduino device you saw earlier and in this tab I will soon see the live data. I am now turning on the device, the first thing I see is a join request. This means the Arduino device connects with the Things Network. If data arrives I can also see it here. Besides the Things Network there is another LoRaWAN network. The people's network. Anyone can operate LoRaWAN gateways, so called hotspots in this network as well. Whenever your gateway is used, you generate revenue in the form of helium tokens which you can convert into euros. If you cover places that didn't have coverage before, then you earn even more because you increase the coverage. Let's take a look at how things look for me. You see that in Europe the coverage is large in general. I live in the rhein region in Schwetzingen. And here it is. There is no coverage at my address yet. I have already ordered a gateway and will install it with the antenna on my balcony. I will share the process with the generated revenue here on YouTube. I'm excited to see what comes out of it. Follow me to get the notification. 
That's it for today's video. Write in the comments what interests you most from this video. I will go deeper into it next time. Please give me a like or subscription. Until next time, auf Wiedersehen.